Badger's disc meters are ideal where there's a low flow rate, making them a perfect choice for residential use. Here's a step-by-step -step description of that process. Water flows directly into the meter housing. The water first flows through the meter's internal strainer before it enters the measuring chamber. The strainer protects the measuring chamber from damage due to debris in the water. Inside the chamber assembly is a movable disc that's located on a sliding ball guided by a thrust roller. As the water flows into the measuring chamber, it causes the disc to nutate, a motion similar to a coin dropped on a table. Notice that the disc does not rotate, but rather wobbles on its axis. Therefore, the space formed between the disc and the chamber wall has a constant volume as it moves around the chamber. The water in the chamber is a fixed volume, or displacement. That's why a disc meter is called a positive displacement meter. The smooth motion of the disc also eliminates the annoying noise produced by some other types of positive displacement meters. As this happens, the nutating disc translates its movement through a magnetic coupling to the register. The water then leaves through the outlet port of the chamber assembly.